Hi, this is Lucio Boyardi Serri. I'm going to introduce the new XPS 16K processing, control and I.O. features. This new amplifier has a very rich set of processing features based on a 40-bit floating point 96 kHz DSP. All these features are combined into five different processing chains, each one dedicated to a specific speaker type. They are preloaded as presets in the internal memory of the XPS and they can be recalled using RDNet as well as using the front panel, as we will see. Well, DSP, we are talking about filters with up to 16 full parametric equalizers. We are talking about high and low shelving, high and low pass filters. We are talking about advanced algorithm as fear phase to keep the phase response flat from 200 Hz up. Again, we are talking about the best shaper to customize the low shelving filter slope according with the cluster size and curvature. We are talking about the HFFIR presets to manage differently the energy at high frequencies according with the aiming of the speakers as well as with the environmental conditions, as temperature and relative humidity. Then, we have a new and innovative control, the mid-low correction, to avoid comb filtering in the mid-low frequencies that is caused by differences in waves arrival time because of the cluster shape and length. The dynamic section is very large, hidden from the end user with different compressors and limiters for different functions. Dynamic PAQ and multiband compressor to keep a constant frequency response at different sound pressure levels. Driver excursion control, the best motion control algorithm. A really dynamic and new way to manage drivers when they are working near or beyond their limits. This feature, together with an RMS limiter, a full range dynamic compressor, a power limiter and a thermal compressor, make the amplifier very safe, resulting in high reliability for the XPS itself and for the connected speaker in any conditions. Last but not least, for each channel we have up to 4 seconds of delay available. So, as you see, we have a consistent amount of settings and parameters to manage. For this reason, we decided to update our existing software RDNet to remote control and set the XPS 16K. Now RDNet moves to Ethernet technology using the TCP IP protocol with a new configuration concept, but with a very similar workflow compared with the active solutions. With active speakers, we need a controller, the control 2 or the control 8. With the XPS, we need just it, which is a controller itself directly connected to our TCP IP network, directly connected to our computer. So, now let's see the RDNet workspace. As for the active workflow, we can drag and drop the XPS from the Add Object window, or we can see the XPS in the controller window if connected. Drag the amplifier on the workspace and we can set its parameters, which are physical I.O. to set analog or digital inputs and outputs, routing to set for each output main and backup inputs as well as routing strategies, sheen management to save, load or delete user-defined sheens, settings to set the device name and network configuration as IP address DHCP. Once the XPS will be properly set, we have to drag on the workspace the connected speaker, for example, a three-way speaker and virtually connect it to the amplifier. At this point, the XPS automatically recalls the relevant preset. Now, by double-click on the speaker icon, exactly as for the active speakers, we can edit the user parameters as EQ, fear phase band, HF preset, best shaper, delay, polarity and gain. As you can see, the new RDNet workflow is very similar compared with the past and the working approach based on several years of experience is exactly the same. In the front panel, we have a 4.3 touchscreen HMI. It's based on an ergonomic design approach. Using the front panel, we can edit all the internal parameters of the amplifier. In fact, the HMI structure has been designed to manage the whole configuration flow as in the RDNet software. Now, let's take a look more in detail the I.O. section of the XPS 16K amplifier. In the rear panel, 
We see on the left the main powercom plug, supplying a switching power supply unit working from 100 to 230 volts, without hardware changes. Then we have two multipurpose GPIO to trick, for example, global mute, routing signal to priority inputs, recall a specific preset using a physical button, and other very useful functions. The XPS 16K has an embedded switch which offer 4 gigabit network ports AVB compliant. And in the XPS 16K V version, two of them are used for Dante primary and secondary network. We have four XLR analog inputs with channel 3 and 4, which can be also set for AES ABU digital inputs. Also four latency compensated AES ABU output to daisy chain the following XPS units. The latency is really low, we are talking about four samples at 96 kHz. And anyway, it is compensated. The four power outputs are supported by two Speakon Class 3 connectors. Let's go quickly to see some application. For example, here we have an HL6 system with six plus six modules for left and right, four front fill, and two subs HL35. Everything is driven and set using just one XPS, of course, selecting the relevant preset. Another small sport venue, for instance, with six speakers like C3245, three per side, with a couple of single 18 inch subs, could work with just one XPS. A bigger example, a large dance club with six clusters made by three Q15 by amp point source each two on the front wall, two on the sides, and two on the rear wall. Together with the 8 subs 8018 Mark II, the system is driven by 5 XPS in daisy chain. Another very large venue, the Maradona Stadium we did in Naples, Italy. We installed 14 arrays with 4 HL2290 each as main system and 58 P4228 cabinets as under balcony and downflow. Nowadays, with the XPS 16KD, we could drive the entire system with 21 amplifier interconnected via Dante Network without using any external processor. In fact, tuning, alignment, and everything is needed to set up the system is done remotely using RDNet. For more information about this new and really powerful device, refer to our website where there are documentation and tutorials to deepen details about it. Thanks for watching.